What's a sign that someone grew up poor? Odd hoarding behaviors of things you probably should have gotten rid of out of fear you won't be able to replace them easily. I keep a stack of boxes broken down because there's still this fear in the back of my mind that I'll have to move again at a moment's notice. I make a decent salary now and have lived where I am for nearly seven years, but I still can't part with those boxes despite the space they take up. Under the bed, behind the chest of drawers. Yeah. I still have M. Lack of exposure to cultural events. Missing out on experiences that others may take for granted, such as attending concerts, traveling, or participating in extracurricular activities. Immense financial anxiety. I wasn't in the know with all the cool Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon shows. But I did watch Arthur, Cyber Chase, Clifford, and Dragon Tales. Difficulty throwing things away. I grew up poor and my husband grew up middle class. Whenever we have guests, I am constantly asking people if they got enough food. Is anyone still hungry? I can make something else. My husband will inquire about the quality of the food and if it is to everyone's liking. I think when you grow up poor, food is very much quantity over quality. Still being poor. I have poverty toes. We didn't have a lot of money growing up so shoes were worn until they died, regardless of fit. My toes are curled and with prominent knuckles from being scrunched into two small shoes. The mental struggle to buy anything and not feel guilty. Scanning the menu for the cheapest options possible when at a restaurant. It's okay the soup is really enough for me. In the US I'd say poor dental history or teeth dental work is a luxury. Overall, I'd say many hoarders grew up poor because they are so afraid of not having something if they'll need it so they keep everything. When I was in elementary school a girl asked me why all my shirts were just solid color and not brand name logo shirts. Made me feel insecure. So I'm going to go with an obvious answer here, clothing and style. I still wear my clothes until they have holes and stains. I have the money to buy new brand name clothes, but why? I'm not trying to impress anyone. We'll eat all of the food on their plate, even after feeling full because they can't waste food. One day my girlfriend asked me why I'm washing Ziploc bags. I told her so we can reuse them later. It was only after the following discussion and some thinking that I realized it's not very normal. Never buying clothing at full price. It just feels illegal. Hesitant to go to the doctor when medical care is needed because of copris even if they can afford it. Most of the time, people who were poor in childhood will be specially careful or stressed about money or expenses. Unless of course they are making a ton now, but if not, having been poor will make you more careful when using it. I know there might be other factors, but it certainly did happen to me this way. Having duplicates of essentials. You develop a prepper mentality for every just-in-case situation. You guys got out of poverty? Missing teeth, and the other results of a lack of being able to go to the dentist. I was told recently I was crazy for using bread instead of hot dog buns. That's just something I always did as it's what we had. Burgers, hot dogs all bread fellas. Spending any windfall money. The bone-deep certainty that money will away. There will always be another surprise bill or the car will break down. If you get some extra money, you buy the kids a trampoline because for once you don't have to say no, we can't afford that. Only shopping in the clearance sections even after I grew up and started making good money. For me, I have what I call poverty mentality, while I can afford new shoes and clothes, they have to be falling apart for me to replace. When I was young, I once got invited over to a friend's house for lunch and noticed they had a brick of USDA government-issued cheese. This was an eye-opener for me and the first time I realized I knew someone who was poor. Our family was lower middle class and my friend's family same school district probably had just slightly less income, but it still shocked me. Still being marveled by an ice maker and side-by-side -side doors. Shit on a shingle. I still like it though. 
Mama performed miracles in the kitchen through necessity. Hoarding. Not to have six dead cats in your house hoarding. But the impulse to buy multiples of things just in case. Oh this is on sale let me buy a case of them just in case I might need it one day. It's a habit I've had to break myself. I distinctly remember what it feels like going without and I don't want to ever feel like that again. So if I have to buy pants or shoes that are two sizes too large but they are cheap I will. Just in case. Having a vast skill set trust me, when you can't afford a repairman hairdresser seamstress builder roofer welder mechanic etc, you learn yourself. Someone asked me if my kid was going to do dance or gymnastics. I was confused as to why. Their response was didn't you do it as a kid? No I that cost money. I was lucky to play with a knockoff Barbie. Using hot dog buns to make garlic bread butter garlic salt. Even when they have money to burn, they'll still be frugal as fuck. They really enjoy the school lunch. Aversion to certain foods they had to eat I won't touch Cheerios. Fear of spending money on anything or having anything nice. Preference for canned vegetables. Enjoying cinnamon, sugar, and butter on a slice of bread because we couldn't afford sweet treats it low-key slapped though. In the US? Generally their teeth. As Tina Fey put it, shoes and teeth. They will always look for sales and discounts. Lots of cool whip country croc containers. You never let anything that may be useful later go, because you don't know if you'll be able to afford it again. You stock your house with non-perishables, so you'll never be hungry again. You tend to keep everything. Source my mother. She never wanted to feel hungry or hopeless again. My friend runs a foster home for kids in need. She keeps an anytime pantry for the kids to help themselves anytime they want. Fruits and other healthy snacks. Anytime they want. I had the pleasure of splitting a banana with one of these kids. Made me so happy she does this. In tearing up typing this. This is to stop them from hoarding foods under the sheets of their bed. They still do it the first week or two. A big sign is that someone is capable of fixing almost anything. I'm doing quite well now but I grew up in poverty. I'm a guy who can sew, fix an oven, replace a starter on a car, etc. I learned these skills because growing up, I didn't have a choice. There was no just buying new things when the old ones broke. I'm really surprised I haven't seen condiment drawer here. When eating out, you save all of the unused condiments in a drawer. It took me until I was about 40 to finally recognize and stop hoarding ketchup and sauce packets. Constantly being stressed over money, even when you're doing well. I grew up with a single mother in government housing my entire life. Coming home to the lights being turned off was normal, waiting until the et to hit so I could eat was just how life was. Because of this I constantly live in fear of going back to that life. My wife and I bring in well over six figures now and I'm still paranoid. We're all just a little bad luck away from being poor. The first thing they look while examining an item at a store is the price tag. Eating out a lot when they finally have money treating every restaurant experience as an event. Wearing the same clothes often every day. A lot of kids that I've seen at school wear the same clothes quite often. When you have to think twice about $5 for shipping fee face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Even though I now have money and things I want, I'm too scared to buy them because having money for bills and stuff is a luxury for me. Turning down most social occasions. When I was particularly broke I pretty much had no social life due the guilt of not being able to afford a round etc. Realizing I wanted to have the house that all my kids' friends came over to hang out at because that wasn't really an option for big chunks of my childhood. Eats everything edible on a chicken wing and I mean everything. Started working at 15. Willingness to eat a hamburger on Wonder Bread.